Libera mig, Domine, de morte eterna. In die sila tremenda, in die sila. Good morning. It's Monday morning. My camera doesn't... Uh, there we go. We've got a nice focus there. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's on autofocus. I guess I could set that up, couldn't I? Well, at any rate, um, Monday morning, and it's an important Monday morning. This is March 16th, 2020. This is the fourth day of my self-isolation uh, during the coronavirus. Um, those of you who have been uh, keeping up with my blog or my video log, my vlog on uh, YouTube from yesterday or the day before, maybe you remember that when I start up my TV in the in my dining room, which I like to watch in the morning when I get news, um, you've noticed that I have to reset my modem every every morning and that's true today too thank you xfinity um and i don't know why maybe it's just the distance from the from the um modem between the modem and the and this particular tv but when i had a different tv out here it was the same story um and i do have a wi-fi extender that goes back to the um back to the front of the apartment. So why is today important? Today is is not just my fourth day of isolation. It's also exactly seven days since the last time I had any public exposure um, to lots of people in public places. And that was last Monday, March 9th when I had a very full day, and I'll talk about that then. But what I'm getting at, of course, is the the incubation period for the virus. And it varies uh, from what I've read and heard and, and seen from uh, maybe three days all the way up to maybe 27 days. But there's also a theory going out that... Uh, 27 days was probably a double exposure of some kind where somebody was exposed to the virus uh, and it went away and then they were re-exposed. But um, at any rate, uh, today is my seventh day, so that's an important day to me. And I'll be really honest, I felt a little bit chilly last night while I was watching TV. I turned up the heat. There's a thermostat that controls two heaters for you people in the cold country. Um, we still heat out here. A lot of people heat with just baseboard electric, and we have plenty of electric coming off major dams and so forth um, in, here in Oregon. And um, But but I, I put on a little quilt while I watched TV, and, and it was uh, comfortable. So also today would be the first day of work for many people, even though... So many places are closed. Uh, sometimes the parking lot out here is a good indication <coughs> of who's working and who's not. And as I've said before, uh, during the day, my, the parking lot at my apartment complex is usually pretty empty. I'm a retired person, and there are several other retired persons living in this complex, but mostly have people who work hard for a living, and sometimes maybe both... Uh, Wage earners in the family have to work. And so we will see today how empty this lot gets. And I really do plan on getting out of here today. I really do plan on uh, going out. And I was going to go to a my bank's uh, one of my bank's uh, ATMs. But then, you know, I listened to one of the uh, other people doing this. And, and their concern over germiness or the... Uh, contracting the virus from an ATM and all that and it occurred to me that probably maybe my best bet is simply a live person 
uh, at the teller window, at a drive-up teller window. And I'm saying this because it looks like uh, when we actually finally do get uh, access to testing, it sounds like it's going to be at Walgreens or some other pharmacy, and it'll be a drive-up situation. So um, I, I, I'm going to kind of use the teller at the window at the bank today is kind of a dry run to see just exactly what's involved. She's going to be giving me money, which is horribly dirty, and it can be wiped down, of course, but um, my bank gives it to you in a nice little envelope, and the envelope can be wiped down, and uh, I think I really do have some uh, sanitary wipes in the uh, car, which uh, is still there. Nobody stole it last night. So there's six minutes of today's, I was trying to get things down to ten minutes, and and uh, I don't know, we'll see. I, w I want to get some goals established today, so we'll talk about those after breakfast. See you later. Bye. Well, okay, so here we are. I finished my breakfast. I did notice that the construction workers were replacing the, the siding on building next door. Uh, they all appear to have shown up today. It looks like uh, one of the ladies across the street has left her. She usually takes her kids to school, but her car's not there, so she obviously has gone someplace this morning. Um, so this is my desktop computer. This is the one I use to publish all of my all the stuff that I publish on the internet. What you don't know, and I've got my nice cup of coffee here with me. On my little Mr. Coffee burner to keep it warm. Um, looking at my desktop calendar, I can see things that uh, are canceled and so forth and so on. So, um, let's just start by doing my regular morning thing, which is just simply checking my email and I check it all the time so um, my friend John has been having problems with his straight talk actually actually the problem is he's using three different devices with three different operating systems trying to keep his Gmail current and all that good kind of stuff and what we discovered was that <laughs> his Amazon Fire tablet um, needs to be ad adapted. He needs to go in and change some of the settings as to how much email can accumulate and all that kind of stuff. So he ended up with a mailbox that was full and uh, he's really not able to do uh, Gmail at this point, which also means um, Interestingly enough, of course, he can he can text message, which is fine. Um, then we have the other alternative uh, on Facebook. We have Facebook Messenger. So there's lots of different alternatives if you really are down and out and have some problems with communication systems. Uh, there are there are quite a few alternatives. Uh, so we tried to request a new password for him yesterday. All that. And quite frankly, I just go through here, and if I'm in a hurry, I delete and delete, delete. Uh, those are all newsletters. I have 10 email messages. Uh, pandemic survival, you know. Now, how much of this, you know, I've had a quite a little bit of, of phishing going on in my uh, email, and it's pretty easy to um, <coughs> see and tell, which is phishing and which one's a real uh, email usually, usually has to do with uh, what's up there at the top and and whether or not it's a uh, real and and you know yeah, from foreign countries you'll notice foreign um, letters and foreign characters and so forth foreign words even it's supposed to fool you into thinking I guess I guess the fools are the people who try to do that kind of activity for money at any rate Pandemic survival, no, yeah, not going to click anything that you have for me because you'll just find out information about me. Maybe, maybe not because I am fully protected by, yeah, hopefully fully, by um, Norton Security. 
Ace Rewards. I don't care about Ace Rewards. Now, here's, here's this is my friend Kathleen. So, Kathleen has forwarded me this nice little chart. Symptoms. Let's see, where does it go? Oh, that is nice. I'll share that with you later. Uh, in fact, I probably put some of Kathleen's things on my <coughs> internet site for um, people and families and teachers with uh, special needs. FYE, yeah, that's my mind. I just don't want to go there. Again, Kathleen. Kathleen has a kidney. Uh, condition and Kathleen is isolating herself just as I am. So we'll use Kathleen as a reference to Magics. I love Magics programs. I use Movie Edit. I use mm, uh, Music Maker, um, and I love the, I love their products. But you know they're updating them constantly. This, like I said, it's a German product. You guys missed out on that one that I did the other day because uh, I've got I. I I was showing you how I do all these different things, and and then all of a sudden I couldn't uh, I couldn't export a file. It was taking forever, and well, of course, because I've been getting I've been getting messages from Windows that uh, I needed to it, it had updated and I needed to restart the computer. Well, once you get that kind of thing going on, you just have to stop and then you have to restart. Otherwise, you're not going to have the stuff on board that you need to do all the work that you have to do. And so yesterday. Let's see. This is noticing. Um, so I had this, uh, like I said, I had just a little feeling of maybe, uh, not febrile necessarily, but warm, shall we say, last night. And I got out my electronic um, thermometer. Uh, it wasn't working. Uh, my blood, I have high blood pressure. My blood pressure. Uh, cuff that goes on your wrist um, died. It didn't need new batteries, it just plain died. I think I dropped it or something, I don't know. So I put in an order to Amazon last night for uh, batteries. Believe it or not, the um, thermometer, the electronic thermometer, digital thermometer, uh, just you can pull the end off of it and replace the battery. So I got some batteries and then I ordered a new um, wrist uh, device. We'll see how it works. I'll do a little report on it, you know. Um, the measures. It's, it's for uh, measure. It's, it's not only a Fitbit, but it does your blood pressure and all that kind of stuff, too. And it wasn't really very expensive. Uh, I always go to my his history to see what happened on this day in history on March 16, uh, 1968. Vietnamese villagers killed by U.S. soldiers in Malai Massacre. And those of us who are as old as me remember all this stuff quite well. Too well, maybe. And we'll delete that. No reply. Any reminder to re review your Social Security statement. Uh, that looks pretty official. I'm not going to go there and click anything on that. But I already have an account set up with the Social Security Administration, so I can do that. And we have a newsletter from a new one in from Tiger Direct. I have ordered lots of computer equipment in the past. Um, the desktop here is one that I built myself, so you know I just go to different different supply houses and buy the stuff that um, fits in the in the arrangement of uh, on the motherboard of the computer that I'm designing. So, I also had Hotmail on this little app. <laughs> Yesterday was my ex-wife's birthday. Thank you. Um, okay. And there are some newsletters there. Costco, members only savings, blah, 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 blah. Morning save. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from there. But at any rate, so much for that. Now we go to, um, then I go to Google. Google the, the, uh, The um, program, I've used Internet Explorer for years and years and years, but um, Microsoft really hasn't been very good about it. Or maybe I just haven't downloaded the right one yet or something. But um, 
and I get this because here I am way back in the bedroom, but this one is, the signal on this computer is a Wi-Fi signal coming in on a um, separate USB uh, receiver, and it's back in, the, back in the second bedroom, so sometimes there's just a little delay between the modem in the front and the extender back here. So, this is one of my accounts, and this is not my main one. My main one on Google, for some reason, is my Pop Spedster account, but we'll check my Gmail today and see what's going on. I can already hear the construction workers in the background. And we're taking forever to load Gmail for some reason. I guess I get my... No, see, there you go. Same story. Uh, delivery incomplete. Okay, this is what's happening with my friend, John. Um, he can't receive his email because his email box is full. Uh, I always get my CNN little newsletter in the morning. Huge biblical forgery scam is uncovered. I don't know what that's about. Um, I'm not really interested at this point, even though I certainly am interested in anything that has to do with religion. So, democratic debate, Syria, Iraq, Dead Sea Scrolls. Yes, well, I've been looking at that issue for quite a while. Yeah, I'll talk about it later. That's not a goal for today. Go back to my inbox. Then I've got all these other things here. My goals, I'm an artist, blah, 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 blah. Um, started looking at this place called How's. Eventful is a local magazine, an uh, online magazine that lists all the events in the Salem, Oregon area for every for every week. I gave money to Joe Biden, and now I get texts and emails daily, sometimes hourly, asking for more money. And it's like well, I gave you money. Uh, be satisfied with what I gave you. And then cover is a uh, this is for filmmakers. Um, it's a it's a source for. Or where you can share um, stuff from other independent filmmakers. Um, you can also um, contribute uh, stuff. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember if you can sell stuff or not, but that's not my goal today either. I'll keep that one. Uh, this time it's not about, about new videos. This time we'd like to offer support to the community that's making cover what it is. Filmmakers, videographers, and cinematographers. So that concludes, I suppose I better open up. There's usually never anything on Pop Spedster, just because the community that uses that site, I'm not even going to check it. I can check it on all my other stuff. All right, so let's talk about my internet presence. <laughs> Sounds like a very self-centered thing to do. Um, I publish a site called popspedster.net, and it contains all of the uh, information that I have to offer in terms of curriculum, um, protocols, and so forth for people who take care of people with developmental disabilities. And I probably should mention at this point that the developmental uh, disability community is certainly at risk, in, in my opinion. You know, it usually accounts for about 2% of any population. And in my opinion, it's getting no attention whatsoever. I talked to my friend Eddie the other day and asked him what they're doing at his group home to about the um, coronavirus and essentially he said nothing. Um, Eddie's a very high functioning person with a developmental disability who also has uh, diabetes, uh, probably um, COPD. Um, at any rate, he's certainly a person who's at risk where this coronavirus is concerned. He's up there in years uh, when it comes to um, his age. He's in his 40s, so he's, he, ha he hasn't crossed over into that category that I'm in. At any rate, that's popspester.net. Um, why don't I just go through my, a couple of my bookmarks here, and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. Go up here to other bookmarks. I keep my daughter's city department up there. I've started some GoFundMe stuff, but never gotten anything for it. 
uh, play scripts I've used before. This was the this is the site for um, the the musical that um, Spotlight Community Theater did. This is my adaptation of a script that I found in 1996 and did a world premiere of this Miklos Laszlo um, play that was never produced before and the copyright had run and so I readapted it for the stage. In 96 I also did a radio adaptation in 2015 up here in Salem and it was broadcast at Christmas time on KMUZ radio. Uh, basically you have the same kind of plot line. Uh, these are all versions of the same script uh, that's, that have been done over the years. The Shop Around the Corner, in the Good Old Summertime, the Broadway musical She Loves Me, and the most recent one was You've Got Mail in, I think that was 1998 if I'm not mistaken. And here's a little clip from the world premiere in 1996, blah 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 blah. Other bookmarks, uh, Damon Runyon, I'm working on a script on a Damon Runyon short story. <coughs> Um, I've also thought about doing a one-man show on Burl Ives. Kickstarter, I think I tried. Uh, <laughs> I'm a licensed bartender, how about that? Uh, the Dead of Spoon River, we did earlier this, uh, well actually it was last year, we did it in April of 2019. Uh, this, is actually t this is actually a film. There's my original script, there's the Spoon River in Illinois, um, this is the uh, current annotated version of Spoon River Anthology by my old professor, Dr. Johnny e. Hallwas at uh, Western Illinois University. Um, and he helped me get uh, my film into the archives there at uh, Western Illinois University. And, you know, all of this good stuff relates to Spoon River Anthology. Actually, what I call it is a uh, <coughs> photo play, and I have a whole, uh, I have another video, I think, probably on YouTube that, uh, well, by gosh, there it is, all right. So I've got all kinds of stuff on YouTube. And there you can download one of the scripts. There's the poster for the <coughs> actual production out in Staten, April 5th, 6th, and 7th. Um, okay. Um, there's a little there's a little introduction that you can get on that site, and you can see these are all uh, subdomains of my Pop Spencer account. So you'll you'll have like up here in the corner uh, for an address, you'll have uh, the the name of this particular page and a period followed by popspencer.net, and those will take you directly to those different pages. I'm not going to show you my credit cards. I have two, none of your business. I'm not going to show you my bank account. You can run Xfinity from this site. Um, my Medicare supplement is with United Healthcare, so I can always go in there and check everything except my dental payments because those are handled through a third party through United Healthcare. And right now I'm appealing one of them, so I'm kind of waiting for a result from my appeal. I can pay my PGE electric bill online. Um, my uh, ISP, my um, hosting company for all my internet sites uh, is Host, Host Monster. I, I've always liked their system, but they're really trying. I don't know whether WordPress bought them or what. I, have, I don't know what's going on, but they, I, I, they think they're trying to be nice and friendly by turning everything over into kind of a WordPress format. but. Frankly, I don't like it. I like their old C-Panel better. Uh, Pentacle Theater, I can get tickets to the theater. There, there's, this is my landlord. That's where I pay my rent. I love to do jib-jab cards every now and then for birthdays and whatnot. Uh, I have a, through AARP, I have a lot of insurance stuff through Hartford and various other AARP programs. Um, I canceled. I paid off my Walmart credit card. I can order stuff from Walmart and pick it up. I they'll do a home delivery too. Uh, this is our this is a discussion of Wait Until Dark that I co-directed a few years ago. That's my Yahoo. 
Pro Air. Oh, well, of course, I have asthma, so um, I have to use an inhaler every now and then. And then quite frankly, I haven't, knock on wood, I haven't had to use one for since the fall. Open Forum, Educational Theater Association, there's Social Security, uh, this is CET, uh, Children's Educational Theater in Kusk, or in uh, Salem. I don't have a chase card anymore. This is the site for Robbinsville Community Theater. I'll just click that just because I do a lot of work there. And this is going to their, looks like Google Maps. This is the new uh, theater picture up here. You can see where we are. And right here in Staten, this is this is before the building was remodeled. Uh, somebody came up and bought this building and remodeled it into a... Well, they've gotten grants to turn all these old town buildings into the condition that they were in back around the turn of the century. And let's see... Log in. Log in. Okay, here's my WordPress account. This is designer uh, 20 one three. I'm not going to go in there for now. If you want to see it, go to designer right there. D Z I N O R two o one three, and that's where all of my poetry is published. That's where all of my, you know, there's a couple chapters to a novel, that kind of thing. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Um, going down here. Teacher Tube. I have stuff on Teacher Tube. There's my Facebook. Amazon. There's my bank. Um, actually, this is a radio station out in Mill City that does some of our radio shows. Sometimes you'll hear me singing on this uh, radio station and another one out there. Home Depot, you can order stuff delivered. Um, then I have all kinds of connections to production. Um, Ancestry, yeah, my daughter bought me a subscription to Ancestry and I'll talk about that another date. I have my own thoughts on that one. Eddie and I go to Cedar 16, uh, Century 16 Cedar Hills Cinemas uh, every now and then to see a movie. Um, there's a PDF converter and all kinds of other stuff. There's eBay. Um, stage lighting. Pixie Forest Films is uh, my friend um, Gene Percy. Um, he has his own little production company. LinkedIn, yeah, I have a presence on LinkedIn. Target, you can order stuff through Target, and I do. Well, there's like, what, there's a, at least two Target stores within three miles of where I live. Uh, then I have other accounts, uh, annuities and so forth and so on. Internet Movie Script Database is IMDB. Um, patient portal for this is this is where I'm going to have my surgery hopefully later this is my new backstage Fred Meyer karaoke songs and there you go there's a pretty good idea of what I do on the internet so at this point in the morning I typically check into Facebook to see what's going on See if I have a. Well, I haven't gone to Pop Spencer's place yet. Okay, we'll give you an idea of what my main internet set looks. My internet, uh, this is where I'm going to be publishing the table that'll have all of the links to YouTube, and there'll also be a table that has links uh, that people suggest for usable, nice, nice information sites for this coronavirus and so forth. So I just skim down the page. Here's my friend Andy. Andy does a. Um, and he's a musician. Um, I ask her, when I was teaching uh, special education, I used to have an annual kind of little talent show for my kiddos. Uh, were, well, at that time, they were all adults. We called it our hoedown. And um, at those hoedowns, kind of a national anthem that worked well for people with developmental disabilities was this land is my land and uh, everybody sung it with a great deal of pride and here's a, here's one of my 
videos on how to make a capital letter A. This one on um, Teacher Tube, you know, I think it's had at least 4,000 hits. And these are just part of the curriculum and stuff that I publish there. I started an animated uh, film on my children's book, Spout's First Note, so you can see that. Um, I gave up on the idea of the stop motion because in six months worth of work with my son Jeff and myself doing the stop motion animation, we ended up with 12 and a half minutes of, of usable animated film. So, And this is the emergency survival sight words skill. Here's a little spout, the drawing of a little spout. Uh, here's a earlier version. I guess it's a later version. I think that one's actually has all the vocal and stuff. This is one of my former students, Johnny, and uh, uh, this was a presentation for the Educational Service District down in Coos Bay. And uh, why is that on there twice? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's oh, Journey to Employment. Well, that's completely different. This is. This is a film that was done um, to document a uh, grant for my friend um, Tara Asai. Um, she, uh, she did a grant um, on finding employment for people with developmental disabilities. There's Johnny's story. Here's my friend Eddie and also Tom. Uh, doing an interview of Eddie back in, uh, I don't know, 2015. That's been up there for about a while. And, of course, you can always use Google on my account. And I haven't updated this thing since March of 2019. So you will see some updates. Now, back to just a quick look at Facebook. Do, 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 do. Oh my child, I usually get there. That's crazy, isn't it? There we go. Oh God, it didn't even require me to sign in. And I have 14 messages, 14 notifications. This morning, maybe I'll share them. I don't know, we'll see. Bony Bony Boy asked to join Magic Bullet. Okay, Magic Bullet is the play that I... These are all my shortcuts to my... I have six groups on Facebook. There's the Spoon River group, Spouts First Note, Magic Bullet. Uh, this is the audio, um, Salem Audio Theater. Made Known is my novel. Uh, Silver Sneakers is my workout group. And these are others. These aren't, these aren't mine because I can only have six. Oh my god, I don't even want that. So what's happening in Coos County? And this is CET. Reflections. Remember Alexis. Theater Share Salem. We have this theater community in the Salem area that goes maybe a county all over the county. Two counties, actually. And back up to... Wow, all, the, all my notifications disappeared, which means that I've already looked them up in... Whoops, there's one. Durant at Ridge Farms had a new event. I don't know. Um, Lavender wreath making. Bony Boy asked to join Magic Bullet. I don't know who, but there's my Magic Bullet uh, um, group. I think it has, I don't know how many members. Quite a few. Mostly theater people. I don't know anything about Bony, Bony Boy. Who is he? Okay, you know, every now and then you get people that just want to sell you something and they want you to, you, this looks pretty commercial and not appropriate. So, bony, bony boy, I am going to decline your request uh, just because the stuff that you've got up doesn't look like it's anything that my people would want to look at. All right. Back to, this is my niece, huh. she, I posted one, uh, this is a, it rubs a Purell on its skin, or it gets the Lysol again. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Alright, um, this is my sister, all these people are 
reacting to my O. Oh, that was a post on autism. Um, this was a post on toilet paper. Um, I don't know. That was something else. Me. Me, me, me. It's all about me. And other likes. 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 And <laughs> this was somebody's idea of a the day. Yeah, I don't know. Some one, one person in the Midwest wanted to know if it was a redneck bidet, and I, I guess that's what you call it. But there's a sprinkler system, and there's the chair. At any rate, funny, funny. Do 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 do. Another reaction to a photo. Um. Another reaction. I have two events coming up. Well, I doubt it. Another, okay, all right. So that's pretty good. I'll go to my profile here. You can see what's going on. Uh, this was from, this was my hospital room during my uh, hospitalization in 2008 for um, exposure to black mold. This is me on the respirator. This is actually in the step-down room from ICU. Uh, my current and this really disturbs people because most people have never seen me in a coma before But I'm trying to draw attention to the fact that there are people like me out there who have these respiratory illnesses that um, That uh, need to be that really put us in a different category and, and is really the cause for me to um, Do this isolation I have 358 friends, and quite frankly, they're family, they're former students, and they are theater people, not just theater people in Salem, but all over the place. And I've been announcing my um, YouTube videos all the time. All right, so I'm going to try to get something done today in the way of goals, but first of all, I'm going to take a shower, put on some plain clothes, uh, go out and take a look in my car. I know I have some hand, some wipes out there. I, let's see, what else would I have out there? I'll probably have some Purell out there, although I found some Purell here in, in the apartment. And that does it for now. So I will turn off the camera. Maybe the next time you see me, we'll be driving down the streets of Salem. How about that? Libera me, Domine, de morte eterna. In die si la tremenda, in die si 